uh, one of the key challenges when you're preparing for your IMSS exams is the fact that uh, you don't know where to prepare because your focus has been on neat assess for the past few months and uh, because the pattern for neat assess has considerably changed over the last few years i think a lot of uh, students think that IMSS is an impossibility i would assure you that it is not when you are unprepared it also means that majority of the population majority of your competitors majority of the other students are also unprepared the pattern for INSS is pretty simple there's going to be 80 questions and uh, 80 percent of the questions are going to be from the speciality for which you have uh, registered you can register for only one one speciality and uh, you cannot register for two or three that's not possible in INSS and uh, which means that general surgery is going to uh, play a deciding role and you're going to be strong in general surgery over the next 20 days, what I would want you to focus on is to solve MCQs uh, on the search test app for the respective specialty. Say, for example, you're doing preparing for DM uh, nephrology or uh, MCH surgical gastro or uh, surgical oncology. The questions are pretty comprehensive. And over the past few years, I can assure you that most of the concepts are going to be from the questions. But for people who need the extra edge, I would say use the videos or else the questions are pretty comprehensive. and. These are from the specialty books. For example, if you're talking about surgical gastro, the questions are from Shackleford. Uh, and uh, that's how it's going to be. So uh, I would say just have a bit of confidence. Uh, go with the usual strategy of, of which I always say, uh, solve at least 100 questions every single day. And I'm sure if you solve the MCQ bank for the super specialty at least once, you have a reasonable chance at cracking INISs. All the very best, guys. If you do have any doubt, uh, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much. Have a good day.